So we are on day nine of my transfer cycle. So today I started the ovulation test, which I'm just waiting for results now. I did get an email this morning from the nurse just reminding me like how the whole thing goes. So if I were to get an ovulation, a positive ovulation test, then the transfer would be, I think, six days from today, six days from positive ovulation. Um, but chances of me ovulating today are pretty slim. I go in on day 11, so in two days, for an ultrasound, and then we'll just kind of go from there. But if I get a positive ovulation test, six days from ovulation, if I ovulate via the trigger shot, then it'll be seven days from the day I do trigger shot. And the trigger shot will obviously only happen if I don't ovulate. Just got it. That's a negative. This is the ovulation test that they recommend. They say that they're the most accurate. Claire Bulu digital ovulation. Anyway, um, so if I do it off of the trigger shot, what was I saying? I'm all over the place. Trigger shot, then it would be seven days after the trigger shot. But trigger shot will only be, I will only do the trigger shot based on an ultrasound. So I went and picked up the trigger shot, which I hate doing because there's a chance you may not even do it. But you don't want to like wait till the last second. I don't know. It's hard. Anyway, it was more money this time. It cost two twenty-five. dollars um, I think when I bought it back in September, it was like one fifty, dollars maybe one seventy-five. dollars Anyway, when I was at the pharmacy and, I, and she told me the doll, I was like, what? And she's like, oh yeah, prices went up. And in my mind, I'm like, for what? What do prices go up for? And I'm not talking like normal price or anything. Like, the shot went up $100. No, no, $75, $50, $75, depending on, I can't remember what it was last time, but like, that's a lot of money for one prescription to go up. So, that kind of bugs. But I have to remember that my progesterone, because we were once again doing the Prometrium, the suppository, that's a lot cheaper than what it typically would be if I was doing the intramuscular shots. So I am saving a lot of money there. So anyway, negative. So we'll just keep testing every day um, until I get a positive or until they see it on ultrasound and tell me to trigger. So we'll go from there. I can't believe I'm doing a transfer. I'm pretty indifferent to it at this point. I think that must be what happens when you have like negative transfer after negative transfer. I mean, you're still excited, but you're just kind of like going through the motions until you like see a heartbeat. And even then, like, right, you just kind of, that's hard. Anyway, I'm still excited, looking forward to it. But, and my mom's had two, two dreams recently about me being pregnant. So that's got to be a thing. It's got to be a sign. It's going to work this time. I think it's going to work, but I also thought the last one was going to work. So who really knows what's going to happen? So I just had a document. Today is day nine. No, today is day 10. Uh, negative ovulation test this morning, which you guys saw. And I said to Mike this morning, I had a dream last night that I was pregnant. And he goes, I did too. Is that the craziest? I think that's the craziest. First of all, for a few reasons. One, the same night we had a dream that I was pregnant. What are the chances? Two, Mike never dreams. Like, in our entire 14 years of marriage, almost 14 years of marriage, he's maybe had like a handful of dreams, literally. So for him to dream is very rare. And I, so I asked him, I'm like, well, what was your dream about? And he's like, I don't remember anything other than you were pregnant. And I was like, good enough for me. My dream, I was pregnant and I was due the next day. So I was big and I was trying to do all the things, you know, so I was, I went on like a really long walk and anyway. Um, but isn't that weird? I think that's weird. And then I told you guys, I think that my mom has had two dreams recently that I've been pregnant. So I'm pretty sure vibes are going really good right now. Like this is gonna happen. This one's gonna work. 
which also makes me kind of panic. I'm like, I have to do so many things before I get pregnant in like two weeks. <laughs> There's so much to do. Like, eat all the deli sandwiches and scrub the shower. <laughs> you know, anyway. Isn't that crazy? I think it's crazy.